Welcome to part 4 of the Python Basics tutorial series. We're going to be going over the else statement. In part 3, we went over the if statement, which is basically just an if, a conditional that will either evaluate to true or false, and then some code that's indented below. Okay? So in this case over here, we assigned 1 to the variable num, and then uh, we did a conditional, which then evaluated to being false. So with an if statement, if something is false, the code below it will not be executed. Okay? So about the else statement, it has to be after an if or elif statement. There can be at most one else statement, and it'll only be executed if all the if or elif statements above it are false. Okay? So now for an example. If I assign one to the variable num, and then I have a condition that's false, like before, we're basically not going to execute the if statement and we'll go directly to the else statement and we're going to print something out. So how does this work? So basically an if statement is if something's true, we're going to do something. If it's not, we're going to do nothing. Whereas an if-else combination is if the if statement is true, we're going to skip the else statement. If the if statement is false, we're going to go and execute the else and whatever is down below. So in this case, because my if statement is false, we're going to execute the else part of it. And we're going to print number is not greater than 3. Okay? So in the case that our if statement is true, which in this case it is, uh, 4 is greater than 3, so that's true, we're going to print out uh, the code down below the if statement. Uh, we're going to print high. Okay, so I find the best way to reinforce learning and even just to check is to do some sort of task. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll read it briefly out, and then if you want to do the task, you can uh, do the task, and you can uh, post a comment on my uh, comments down below. Uh, I'm also going to go over the solution right now, though. Okay, so we're going to assign uh, a number to an integer value, and we're going to write an if-else combination that will print your integer is even if the integer is even. Otherwise, we're going to print your integer is odd. And so a little hint. So an integer is something that can be divided exactly by 2. Um, sorry, an integer that can be divided exactly by 2 is an even number. For example, 2, 4, and 6. Any integer that cannot be divided exactly by 2 is an odd number. Examples 1, 3, and 5. So in part 2 of the tutorial series and part 3, went over the modulo operator which returns the remainder of a division of a number to left by the number on its right. So if you don't know what that means, because it's text and you need to have an example, if you did 4 just normally divided by 2, um, that'll give you 2 remainder 0. Okay? Um, Python, because I'm working Python 3, it'll just say 2.0, but just know that there's no remainder. Okay? So modulo works um, by giving you basically the remainder. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 0. So if I had modulo here, it'll give me 0. If I had uh, 5 modulo 2, uh, 5 divided by 2 is 2 and a half, or 2 remainder 1. So I'll get 1 here. OK? So on to the task. So the first part um, is to assign uh, num to an integer value. And what I'm doing right now is a comment, as you know. Um, so I have num, and it can either be an odd or even number, so I'm just going to try 2. Uh, and then for the second part, um, let me just comment this a little bit. OK, so next line. Um, we're going to write if-else combination that will print your number is even, if the integer is even, otherwise print your integer is odd. OK, so we're going to start with an if statement. And we'll have if num modulo 2 is equal, it like equal, like equal equal. And what I mean by this um, is a comparison operator that'll give true or false. OK? So back to the problem at hand. So print uh, your integer is even if I have an even number and then we're gonna have an else print 
your integer is odd, okay? And that's it for this part of the tutorial series. Uh, next part is going to be elif statements. And basically, an elif statement allows you to have more complex logic. And we'll go into where an elif statement is uh, better and where an elif statement is worse. Thanks. Bye.